In this video, I am going to explain the concepts of 11 dimensions explained like never before. A short disclaimer. The following explanation of higher dimensions that you will see from 5D to 11D uses analogies based on speculative theories like string theory and M theory and is still in conceptual mode, not empirically proven fact. So simply enjoy. Dimension zero. Imagine you are inside a video game and the very first thing you see is a tiny glowing checkpoint dot. It does not stretch, it does not move, it does not have a left or right or up or down. It just marks a location so the game knows here is where the player will spawn. Dimension zero is just a location with no size. Physicists use it as a reference point to say where something is, not what shape it has. Dimension one. Now imagine the game loads your character but lets you only press W or S. You can walk forward and backward on a straight hallway that has no sideways movement at all. Dimension 1 adds the idea of length. You can now measure how far one point is from another on a straight path, but you still cannot talk about width or height. Dimension 2. It gives length plus width. Shapes like squares and circles live here. But nothing can rise above or below, because height does not exist yet. This is simple and requires not much explanation. Dimension 3. You can run forward and backward, move left and right, and jump or fall. The world now feels real because it has volume. Everything around you takes up space, and you can move around it. Dimension 4. From the moment you spawn to the moment you defeat the final boss, or rage quit, every second you play moves you forward along your timeline. You can't rewind while playing but the recording exists. Dimension four adds time to the three spatial dimensions. You do not just exist in space, you also travel through moments. Time flows forward as you age, move, and change. If you look from the beginning of our universe, where because of certain initial conditions the Big Bang took place, then in 4D this leads to one single ending of our universe. Dimension five. Imagine the game has many endings. One ending happens when you save the village. Another ending happens if you ignore them. Another ending happens where someone betrayed you or the ending where you saved the wrong village. Dimension five is like seeing all possible endings that branch from the different choices you make during your run. You only experience one timeline while playing, but many alternate timelines still exist. Suppose at age 20, you chose football in this life, but in some other parallel timeline, you chose studies, and in another, you chose music, and in yet another, you chose business. The fifth dimension is simply the full collection of all these possible life stories that branch out from the same birth and the same childhood, but separate the moment you make a choice. In physics, dimension five refers to parallel timelines that branch out from the same Big Bang, where the basic rules are the same, but outcomes differ. It is like, from the same Big Bang, infinite possible endings of our universe unfold. Dimension six, it connects these parallel timelines with time. Now imagine you are not inside the game anymore. Instead, you open YouTube and watch every possible playthrough from beginning to end before even touching the controller. You can browse any timeline, jump to any choice point, rewind, fast forward, or view any possible branch. You're now outside the game, free to jump between the branching timelines of all your choices. Dimension 7. So far, everything was from the same game. Now imagine a shelf full of totally different games. This is like switching to entirely different games with different engines, different graphics, and different physics systems. Their intros are different. Their starting points are different. Their laws are different. Dimension 7 is like standing outside the shelf, seeing every type of universe with totally different laws. 
Dimension 7 jumps beyond parallel timelines of one universe. Instead, it describes different universes with different physics entirely. Gravity might work differently, or light might behave in a new way. Dimension 7 is the level of universes that do not have the same Big Bang as ours. They begin differently, operate differently, and follow different physics entirely. Dimension 8. It is like crossovers between entirely different games. Now imagine all those different games can actually interact. Characters from one game can appear in another. For example, imagine a character from Minecraft entering GTA. This is universes with different physics influencing each other. Dimension 8 allows interactions between universes with different rules. Cause and effect can cross over, creating a web of influences between realities. Dimension 9. Now imagine a tabletop role-playing game like D&D &D, or the Dungeons and Dragons where you do whatever you want. You can literally say, I turn the sun into a cookie and the DM or the dungeon master decides the reality. You are beyond the limitations of any game engine or physics. Nothing forces rules on you. It is beyond all physical constraints of space and time that we know. Dimension 10. Now step back from all games, all crossovers, all rules, all possibilities, and imagine you see every universe, every timeline, every moment, every version from outside completely. It is like sitting in front of a godlike computer screen where the entire internet, every file, every game, every rule, every alternate creation is open in one giant window. Nothing is hidden from you. So, Dimension 10 is the ultimate possibility space. Finally, 11D. It is like the ultimate developer room, a hidden workshop where the deepest code of reality is written, not in lines of programming, but in tiny vibrating strings that shape everything that could ever be. It is the mathematical realm where the fundamental objects like strings and membranes exist and from which all lower dimensions emerge. And you know what? 11D is super wild. You can bend time, fold space, and also spot the person who didn't like this video and subscribe to this channel. So don't be that person else I will know. So good.